Oh, I've been looking forward to this all week. I'm nerding out. Ah, my guest tonight is a content creator. You know what? I can't even say content creator. I'm going to change. It's a genius. It's a genius whose videos have billions of views across all of the platforms. Please welcome the one, the only, the very talented, Zach King. What's up? What's up? Good uh, to see you. Thanks for having of me, Lily. Of course. I don't even know like, in the intro, like, how do I even describe you? Because I think you're a genius. You're a content creator. You're one of the most followed people on TikTok. It's insane. They actually gave me a Guinness World Record like plaque for it, for that being the most followed male. It's, it's it's wild. Um, But this is your late night debut. Yes, this is, I mean, I would want to do this with nobody else. For people at home that maybe are not familiar, how would you describe yourself? You know, often people say that, oh, you're, and then, and then there's. Oh, I think you're freezing. I think he's freezing. And I'm like, oh, one second. No, I got a Lily hold on. I had a little, little buffer issue there. My internet's a little spotty these days, but I'm gonna fix it. People usually see me as like a, a, a magician, really. But you know, I, 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 I don't view myself as a magician because I feel like that's taking away a little bit from all the people. I mean, like David Blaine just got to work with him and they pour so much of their life into their craft and to perfect what they call magic. I feel like what I do is just filmmaking. It's like really fun filmmaking tricks, stuff you saw, it's almost Charlie Chaplin and George Méliès doing like a hundred years ago. It's kind of like bringing that in a little bit of a modern form. You're not just a filmmaker, you are absolutely incredible. You, forget going viral, you have the most viewed TikTok. Like, check out this Harry Potter, uh, my mind is on the ground, I can't. Yo, that's so cool. How are you doing that? I got a Nimbus 2000. Oh, I see. Mirror. Wait, is that my longboard? Oh, Longboardia Leviosa! Zach, my longboard! Come on, man, come back here! Dude, not yeah. I just don't comprehend the wizardry, literal wizardry that is happening here. So walk me through the process. You sit down with your team and you're like, all right, guys, we got to figure out our next video. What is the process? Walk me through. So I, I love coming to the table every Monday with the writer's room and it's like, okay, what's funny to us this week? What are everyday problems you had this weekend? Oh, did you stand in a line at a movie theater? Did you sit in traffic? Like, what was annoying to you? What was funny? Um, we shot a trick just in my backyard last week that's not out yet, but it's like, I love, I have two kids and I'm always playing with them outside and, and we have a little sandbox. And we were playing one day and I was like, oh my gosh, guys, like it's quicksand, I'm sinking. And they're like that, like they, they barely even speak, but they were basically like giving me the like, Okay, yeah. we're already too cool. You're too cool for you. Um, this is lame. But then I was telling my team, like, well, what if I was sinking in that moment and my kids were there and then I continued to sink and they left? Like, they're like, we're gonna go to the pool or whatever. We take that into pre production. We build like a, a practical example of the trick. So at the studio, we built an elevated floor and put some sand up with a tarp and a hole and like had our art guy go through to see if he could do it and how we get the stand to stay. And then like phase three is digging, you know, we made sure my wife like had a little, like we sent her away uh, for the day. We, we got a tractor in the backyard, dug a hole and then built another sandbox on top of it. There's a six foot hole and there's a, a tarp over it with sand. And we made this rubber uh, stopper to hold the sand. Well, I go through the first test and we're filming and uh, I get stuck like at my waist and they pull me out, but all of a sudden my, like it was really tight. My pants come off, it gets stuck. Like my pants literally fall into the hole. Like everything is off. And uh, it's one of those things where luckily there was like, the kids hadn't arrived to the set yet or else that would have been a whole other like, probably a legal nightmare. The things you learn. So I gotta ask, your videos are quite meticulous. You spend a lot of time on a video. Your videos are reliant on very specific shots, angles, tricks. How often do things go wrong? Uh, I'd say we have an 80% success rate, 20% gets thrown away or never you never get to see it or we try to redo it. It goes on the back burner. But for us, I mean, one video I, I really enjoyed was I, I made a miniature house and I, I, you see me in the video walking out the front door, I wave to my neighbor and then I go up and as I'm walking the camera, it reveals like the mailbox is really, really tiny and I bend down and then uh, pick out the mail and I go back to my house, but now that's shrunk as well. Um, like that video looks really simple and, and in a viewer's mind, they might just be like, oh yeah, well there's a dollhouse behind him the whole time. But it's like, if you think about it, it's like, wait, how did you know the dollhouse get there or how did mm -hmm. he get in front? And to do that, it took us about a year to make that video, not because we were working on it full time, but because every week we check in and ask our producer, you know, have we found the location? There's little details 
in that one, the lawn had to be a perfect grade for us to get me the right size, the house the right size, the mailbox, those three different elements, and then camera, a fourth element. And uh, we actually just had a producer driving around every week to different fields. For a year. <laughs> yeah. I want to ask you things aside from work right now. When you're not making videos, what is Zach King doing? I do beekeeping. That's one of my favorite things. We finally had room to put them on our property. The last home we lived in, we had to keep them at a friend's house because the neighbor was uh, not super happy with them. I found out along the way that I'm like deadly allergic. It's put me in the ER twice from the bee stings. So wait, 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 yeah. wait, hold on, wait. You're a deadly allergic to the bees that you are voluntarily well, that, harvesting. That's what the, I think, I think this is all an overreaction. My wife, it's put me in the ER twice. She's been with me and it like makes me pass out. And, and the, the doctor last time was like, next time you get stung. Cause apparently for some people, the stings make it worse and worse and worse. And based on the swelling I had last time, they were like, the next one could kill you. And I was like, but we haven't diagnosed this. I'm really loving your attitude towards life. I gotta say. Zach, I gotta ask you, I didn't know this, and I'm sure many people at home might have not known this as well. You open your home to foster children. Mm -hmm. Tell me about My that. My wife and I have been foster parents um, for the last five, six years. Um, but we take in kiddos. We've only taken in babies, so it's zero to two years old. And they join our family because LA has a huge, huge problem. Like it's like 30,000 kids in the foster system. And my wife worked in social work and she'd come home and, and sometimes just be sobbing. Like it sucks that she left the office with three kids in the building who had to stay there overnight looking for a family. When we had an extra room in our home, she just felt like we could open our home. She would kind of serve in that way. My oldest son, Mason, is actually adopted um, from foster care. And so he joined the family. He's my first son. And then I had a second son uh, about a year after we adopted Mason. I, Zach, you might be the perfect human. Because, and another thing that I love is that you're like, yeah, it's crazy because we got the kiddos in my mind, but I'm like, but you're also digging up the backyard. So like, it's like just everyone. But that's, that was, that was cool. Cause they were like, I love giving my kids experiences even when they're young. And I, I don't know, I look at them sometimes. I'm like, you're never going to remember this. But then I look at them sometimes. I'm like, they're totally taking it in. I love that. I'm, I'm also just jealous of your kids. Cause they're probably going to go to school and be like, my dad sunk in the backyard. And he's like, what? That's so cool. No, the day where you bring your parents into, into school. <laughs> They're just gonna be like, Dad, not, no, like, don't do a trick. Like, oh, everyone's, you know. I hope you're enjoying season two of A Little Late with Lily Singh. If you're not sick of this face yet, go ahead and click subscribe right over there. Check out more clips just like this one right over there. More importantly, have a great day.